to be this one. <laughs> I love him. He's my desert island planting tool. Uh, this is the spearhead gardening shovel and spade invented by Julian's dad, who is now 92. God bless him. And uh, we'll show his picture in a bit. But uh, this is a customer top rated by a mile, tons of five star reviews tool. I think everybody has thrown their old shovels by the wayside. This is something that digs and cuts and gets into all the nooks and crannies around your roots. It cuts the roots. It gets everything out. It doesn't destroy your plants when you're dividing them up like that. It's easy to move plants, transplant them. I've been able to dig around tree roots with this. It is amazing. And there's so many other great features that make it a better mousetrap too. But let me introduce you to Julian Matthew. Uh, this is one of our top finds today. It's the spearhead shovel. Now I have the original yellow, and then last year I went back and got the pink one. We have lots of colors for you this year. Let me show you what we've got right over here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you want this lavender, it's new and it's gonna be super popular. I predict selling out first. Look how pretty that is. Yellow is returning, green is returning, and also that new pink, which sold out, I think, even in an advanced order, like early in the season last year. So pick the color that you want. Tell me all about this thing. Yeah, this shovel was invented by my 85-year-old dad. When he was 85. When now he was he's 85. Now he's 92. <laughs> now he's 92. <laughs> and, you know, he has two artificial knees, two artificial hips, and he's had them replaced twice. Wow. So, you gotta understand he's pretty compromised physically as there well as being old, right? There's and there picture. he is. He's so cute. He was still 85 when it was oh, back there. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> uh, so, well, so why did he design what he did with this shovel? Yeah, because he just couldn't get into the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, even in uh, a tilled soil in the springtime, it's frozen or partly frozen, mm -hmm. and he couldn't dig with a regular shovel. And he was really frustrated. He said, I'm, looks like I'm gonna have to give up my, my gardening. Oh. And he said, you know what I need to do? I need to pr take away from a regular shovel what's preventing it from going into the ground. And he came up with a spearhead shape which allows you to concentrate all your weight on a single point mm -hmm. and then gradually wedge and slice your weight into the ground Love because it. all these angles here are sharpened from tip to tail. Mm -hmm. So you can see that everything goes, all these angles are going straight into the ground rather than across the ground. So this allows, empowers you to do things that you thought you could never do. What, before you before you demo, would you take us on a tour of the whole thing? Sure. I love that you've got little foot rests here. So when yeah. you're a stand, I can I can garden with flip flops with this. It doesn't hurt my foot. Uh, whereas before, most shovels they dig into the bottom of your shoe. They do. So we made the foot rest larger than normal, so it's more much more comfortable. We made the socket longer than normal to prevent it from breaking. The area that breaks the most frequently is the handle, mm -hmm. right on a shovel. We don't want the handles breaking. Normally they they would end here by supporting it for another three to four inches and double riveting it. Mm -hmm. Now you're supporting the area most likely to be broken. It will not break right, anymore. Right. Right. This is called a pull treated fiberglass. Very special kind of fiberglass that's designed to bend without breaking. So, like the pole vaulters use. Right. Okay. And inside this fiberglass is actually a northern ash hardwood core. It's kind of hard to see here, but anyways, it goes right in here, and it goes all the way up here. So it's like double reinforced. Yes, just what they make baseball bats mm -hmm. at. Double reinforced here, thrift pull reinforced here. So it's a very hard, very tough tool. It's Actually, really the blade durable. is so hard, mm -hmm. you cannot sharpen it with a file. You have to use a well, grinding wheel or and, a diamond And stone. again, it's my number one tool because in the winter, I do this and I break up ice that's sheeted over my driveway and my sidewalk and then I just shovel it out. I don't wait for the salt to even melt it. I just get rid of it. I mean, this thing is so durable. It's amazing. Mine still looks like new. Okay, so how do we use it? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you um, the situation where, this is your regular shelf. Everybody has one of these in their yard, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the one that's causes you all the frustration. Mm -hmm. This is what I call simulated root environment. There are a bunch of strings here strung up mm -hmm. and you're gonna see when I try to stand on this shovel, it's not gonna go through. I'm gonna put my full weight, so hopefully some, they'll zoom out a little bit here so they can see me standing on this shovel yep. and nothing is happening. You know, you're jumping up and down and, and nothing is happening. Right. Well, let's see what happens when you use our spearhead spade. I'm not even gonna stand on it, all right? Oh boy. <laughs> And matter of fact, that, I'm not even gonna use my weight. That I'm just gonna right use my hands. Yep. So you can see mm -hmm. it, what it does is it forces the roots apart and then mm -hmm. slices them individually. Mm -hmm. So you're slicing your way into the ground rather than I call it mashing your way into the ground mm -hmm. at very low pressure. Also, I'm gonna show you a situation here. A lot of times you've put down weed block mm -hmm. and you've planted your plants and a few years later you have to come back and replace some plants. Right. 
Now, if you had to cut through this weed block with a regular shovel, you couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. What I've done is I've taken two layers of weed block instead of one, just to make it more difficult on myself. I'm not even gonna stand on the shovel. I'm not even gonna use both arms. Mm -hmm. Look at that, wow. It, it's like a shovel and a knife at the same time. Yeah. It's, it's an amazing tool. It makes your life so much easier, you guys. If you still do a lot of your own gardening, uh, this is a must have. My parents absolutely love theirs and mom and dad in North Carolina still do a lot of their own gardening. Uh, this is indispensable if you're moving plants, if you're trying to dig around in rocky soil or clay where a, just a regular shovel just will not go through it. This goes in between rocks. We're gonna show you that. So you're not hitting a rock and jarring your elbows. Exactly. You're, you know how tough turf is to cut. You're slicing through it. Mm -hmm. We have one lady that transplanted 25 roses in a very rocky soil. Every single one of those plants survived because she was able to cut the roots really gently, yep. bring as much soil with the plant as possible, and all of them survived. Yep. Yet you're able to do detail work. Just mm -hmm. do a little bit of work, uh, remove some plants without mm -hmm. disturbing everything mm -hmm. else around. Yet you're able to do the big stuff like the, yep. the bushes and go around all the way around the bushes, whether it's rocky soil or not, or clay soil or not, it doesn't matter. And I go into my big flower pots with mine too because sometimes you get like a, a root bound uh, old plants in there and you're trying to get them out. and. It takes forever to get them out with like a trowel or something. It's tough. So I call this basically the combination shovel slicing knife. I space. love it. It's true. It that, slices of course, and we dices. Didn't, we didn't have enough room on the screen to put that big long name, so it's called the spearhead <laughs> shovel. And we're running, by the way, customer top reviews across the bottom. Uh, awesome shovel. We ladies can plant with ease. No more struggling. I've purchased several for family members. That sounds like exactly what I would have written if I was allowed to. Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay, so if you've got rocks in your soil, not a problem. Take a look. Yep. Yeah. so a regular shovel, because it's so wide, it's hitting multiple rocks, and you're trying to dig one way and the other, and it's not going anywhere. Because of these angles, what's going to do, I'm going to show you in super slow motion what happens. See, it's, it glances. It glances. It finds a path of least resistance. Right. So it doesn't matter which angle I go, it pushes the rocks away. Yeah. Like a wedge splits wood, it pushes the rocks away, and you get underneath right. and get, on, get them right. out. You can get them out and you can push them out of the way if you don't want to get them out. You can make a hole between them. Whatever yep. you want to do, because a regular shovel won't do that. It's just going to go clang, clang on top of the rocks and you can't get them out. Our, our motto is spearhead spade when regular shovels just won't do. I love this it. This one's That's for you. <laughs> so let me show you the colors again because we have a new one this year which we didn't have before, which is this beautiful lavender. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. That's brand new today. Then we have our returning original yellow. We have your green and your pink, which was a very popular color last year. Our price today is a season preview price of $42.67. Normally it's close to $50 for the shovel and you don't always get easy pay. So today you're getting easy payments of $14.22. So if you're resisting going out and doing your gardening because you don't have the help or you have the ailments and you want to continue your love of gardening, yeah. this is the shovel that's going to yeah. allow you to do it. I love this. I love it, love it, love it. It's my number one gardening tool, everybody. Come on in and get your spearhead gardening shovel and spade. Julian, thank you. Thank your dad thank for you. us again. Thank you. It's a great, great invention. All right, well, that's going to wrap up my first gardening party show of the season. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do it every Tuesday at 9 a.m.